Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Turnwright Machine Works. My name is Keith, and we're here at the lathe. We're going to be doing a little four join. We're going to we're going to be chucking this up so that we can bore out the center of this hub to receive the bearing or the cutlass bearing. Okay, so this is going to be a four draw demonstration on showing you how to dial this up into the lathe. All right, now nobody sneak over there and tell Adam Booth that I'm giving you demonstrations on here because he might uh, take up on some of this uh, great advice that I'm passing on to you. All right, I'm going to move you in a little closer and we're going to start setting this up. Now, we're going to be doing things a little different. First off, we're going to get rid of the dial indicator. Sometimes when you're dialing in the four jaw, indicators get in the way. So come on in here and take a look. Okay, we've got the carriage back out of our way here and here's our strut and we're, we're gonna be boring this so we, we ought to chuck on the barrel part of this. So we're actually gonna be chucking on the fat part right in here, okay? Now you can see that those jaws are nowhere near uh, center and we're not gonna scale the jaws, we're just gonna stick the scale up here. I want this to stick out, oh, about an inch or so so that I can, I can eyeball the gap at the back of the jaw and I'm going to measure the gap at the front of the jaw and we're going to show you how I'm going to do that in a, in a short bit. Okay, so basically I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in my jaws equally. Now I'm not, <clears throat> I, I'm, when I'm bringing my jaws in I'm kind of looking at where jaw point is, like the, the, the corner here in relationship to these rings out here it would be nice if I had a real small ring in between here and I'll be putting those in here shortly because it adds to your quickness to be able to line that part of your jaw with those points there so that you know that you're in and out equal so you don't really need to scale your jaws in there you have you have a built-in scale on the face of your chuck that's what these lines are for um, and if you don't have any then then it would uh, it would be handy to actually have now I'm just going ahead and going around and bringing in my dimension. I'm looking here how far that is and I'm also looking over there how far that is so that I can plan my next move and how far this one is in relationship to this one here. My eyes are going all around on here, okay? So um, we're getting close, but um, I, I noticed that we went in a little bit and I just want to make sure that we're back out here about an inch right there. Okay, now I can kind of hold this thing. I'm actually looking like I'm coming in between those two jaws right there and I got gap in between I just want to be rubbing against one or the other alright alright so we got it rotating around now now we're gonna want to go ahead and, and do two things. We're going to use a surface gauge. Everybody knows what one of these are, but everybody's afraid to pull it out and use it. And, um, and this is a very good spot to actually use it, a reason to use it. And I want to, I want to check the run out on this face right here, this diameter, this ring right here, the OD of this face. All right, so it looks like we're we're within about a sixteenth. I'm getting about it's about an eighth of an inch in here, and it comes out to the edge right over here, side to side. It's pretty good. Okay, now our four points aren't side to side and up and down. Okay, so we're going our side to side is X across here like that. So you're going to be judging this section with this section over here. It's got to come this way here. And you just break loose. You tension and then you regroup look at it okay that looks pretty equal all right you're uh, it's towards me there and it's away from me there so you loosen up on this one here you tighten up on that one there all right we look at that one look at that one and a little it's pretty close look at that one and that one we're pretty close okay I'll, right now I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that right there now we want to check the actual alignment you say well how are you gonna do that 
Well, we're going to take, we're going to take, we'll move our surface gauge back here out of the way. We're going to take our machine square and our little scale. Now let me, I'm going to zoom you in here a little bit so that you can, you can see that a little closer. All right. So I'm going to put the flat face of the machine square here. I'm going to bring this little point right down to the bronze casting. And then from that face out to that outer ring that we just dialed in, I'm going to measure out, I like this side here a little better, okay? And we're about 160 thousandths gap right there. Now we're going to rotate this around 180. And there's 160 thousandths give or take a couple thousand and that's that looks like about 150 and that looks like about 150 all right so that's telling me that we're we're equal this way here and we're true this way here within 10 10 thousandths on on the outside all right well, let's go ahead now, and tension down our jaws. Okay, let's go ahead and just tension down our jaws now. Okay, take our surface gauge one more time. Okay, let me get this in here a little closer here. And let's just make sure that we're not going to touch here. We got one face that's there right there. It sticks out a little bit faster or farther. All right. There we are. We're happy with that run out out there. We do have a couple highs and everything else. If you were to have an indicator out here, you would, you would just be like tricking yourself you would be figuring out why you need to move it here or there because you'd be hitting one of those high spots or whatever there are high spots on there but it's the mean roundness that you're concentrating on okay and then we'll bring it in right here right close to the center okay let's put it in gear here we go okay now I'm not when I watch this spin I'm not just watching this spin here I'm also staring back through here all right and if you if you angle this you can you can set the gauge and actually if you wanted to you could take feeler gauges you could take a stack of feeler gauges and you could stick it back in there behind each one of these jaws and verify that this surface right here in relationship to the back side of the jaw but i can give it an eyeball there and i can see that it's running and when you're spinning it you're looking at the light down in the behind there and you're looking at the gap there you can look through a shadow and you can see whether the the hub is is running true or not okay so we're ready to go we're going to set up the boring bar and we're going to bore this Looks good. Okay. I think we're ready to rock and roll with this. <clears throat> and there's the other side there. Pretty cool. Okay, here's the... Uh, Here's the finished strut, close-up look at the uh, bore. This is, this is the entrance that we went into, and then this is the back side. 
Now I had to, I pressed the bearing in and then we cut off one uh, half an inch or so and then I hit it against the sander there. But you can see how uniform we are with center, both sides. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that demonstration on forge off without an indicator. Um, there's a pointer for you. <laughs> don't tell Adam. <laughs> he don't need, you know. He's, uh, he'll be sneaking in there trying to get all the tips and tricks and, you know, hey, we got the Barzy Summer Bash coming up, okay? So, um, another, thinking of that, I do have an announcement. Uh, I, Jim Bullinger shared with me the other day that him and Stan are putting together a welding package giveaway that's unbelievable. And here is a tag for you. All right? Follow that tag and I'll take you to Jim's site and he'll tell you all about it. Um... Uh, here's a, another thing. Last year when I was at the bash, I mean, it, it's, it's baking hot out there, okay? And I was dipping my hat in the ice water and everything else. And this year, I decided to show up with bandanas. And uh, so the walk the talk bandana just hit the floor yesterday. All right, I got them up on my swag rack. Right now, you can fold them up. They're 32 inches from corner to corner, so if you wanted to guesstimate your head size there, some of us got some pretty big heads, and even as big as mine is, I can, I can still tie it around there. Um, you can fold it to where you got the big walk to talk across the front. You can fold it so you got the small walk to talk. You can fold it so it's the cap up over, dust cap, biker style, whatever you want. You can tie it around your dog's neck, um, give them a little styling, and... Uh, they're available on the swag rack right now. All right, guys. Um, all right, guys. Until next time, get her done. Hey, on your job application, you uh, you listed uh, four jaw twice. Yeah, I like four jaw, man. All right, let me set my indicator here. I think yeah, we're good to go. Okay. I don't need no stinking indicator. <laughs> Wonder how close we are. <laughs> okay. Back you out. All right. Put the indicator on here. Can you see that? Three thousands. <laughs> Just like Adam said, if there ain't no video, there ain't no proof. <laughs> <laughs>